He is known for his contributions to the field of philosophy and his interest in both science and German idealism. He is recognized for laying the foundation of his philosophical system and for his works on the physical and mental phenomena of the human organism. His name is Hermann Lotzi. In the quaint town of Botzen, Saxony, Germany, a young boy named Hermann Lotzi was born into a family of physicians. From an early age, Lotzi exhibited a deep love for classical literature, even translating Sophocles' Antigone into Latin verse during his formative years. As he grew older, Lotzi's educational pursuits led him down two distinct paths, the scientific and the artistic. At the University of Leipzig, Lotzi initially studied philosophy and natural sciences but officially enrolled as a medical student at the age of 17. Under the guidance of esteemed mentors such as E. H. Weber, Alfred Wilhelm Volkmann, and Gustav Fechner, Lotzi delved into the realms of mathematics and physics. Simultaneously, he nurtured his aesthetic and artistic interests, influenced by the speculative theist Christian Hermann Weiss. Lotzi's insatiable thirst for knowledge eventually led him to the philosophies of Johann Gottlieb Fichte, Friedrich Wilhelm Joseph Schelling, and George Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel. These German idealists left an indelible mark on Lotzi's philosophical development. In 1838, he earned his doctorate in medicine with his dissertation on the philosophical principles of future biology. Two years later, he obtained his doctorate in philosophy with a dissertation on the highest principles of continuity. Lotzi's early works, including Metaphysic and Logic, laid the foundation for his philosophical system. However, these publications garnered little attention at the time. It was through a series of subsequent works that Lotzi gained recognition amongst a wider audience. These works aimed to explore both the physical and mental phenomena of the human organism, applying the same investigative principles used in studying inorganic phenomena. Lotzi challenged the prevailing philosophy of nature, which viewed mechanical laws as applicable only to the inorganic world. He sought to establish the rule of mechanism as pervasive throughout nature. However, it is important to note that Lotzi's mechanical view of nature did not align with materialism. In his later works, he delved into the complex relationship between mind and body, positing that while the mind is immaterial, its interaction with the body is purely mechanical. Despite his clarifications, Lotzi's ideas were often misconstrued. Some associated him with the materialistic school of thought, while others erroneously linked him to the formalism of Hegel. In response, Lotzi penned a polemical pamphlet to correct these misunderstandings. He distanced himself from the school of Herbart, although he acknowledged the influence of Leibniz's monodology on both Herbart's teachings and his own philosophical views. Hermann Lotzi's philosophical journey was one of constant exploration and refinement. His contributions challenged prevailing notions and sought to establish a middle ground between materialism and idealism. Through his writings, Lotzi left an enduring legacy that continues to shape and inspire philosophical discourse to this day. Lotzi, a philosopher of the post-revolutionary era, sought to bring unity and harmony to the scattered thoughts of our general culture. He believed that everywhere in the wide realm of observation, we find three distinct regions, facts, laws, and standards of value. These regions are separate only in our thoughts, not in reality. Lotzi proposed a view called teleological idealism, which holds that mechanism is compatible with teleology in logic, metaphysics, and science. For Lotzi, a full understanding of the world comes through conviction that the world of facts is the field in which higher standards of moral and aesthetic value are being realized through the medium of laws. He saw this union as intelligible only through the idea of a personal deity, who voluntarily chose certain forms and laws to achieve the ends of his work. Lotzi's goal was to form a general idea of how laws, facts, and standards of value could be combined in one comprehensive view. Lotzi's lectures covered a wide range of topics, including psychology, logic, metaphysics, philosophy of nature, philosophy of art, and philosophy of religion. He aimed to investigate the initial assumptions and conditions of the sciences and establish the limits of their applicability. Lotzi believed that the course of things and their connection could only be understood by assuming a plurality of existences and a multitude of relations. He rejected the idea of fixed and hard substances, instead viewing reality as a fixed order of continually changing events or impressions. Lotzi's method, known as, regressive analysis, traced material things back to the values that established them. He emphasized the importance of understanding the values, aspirations, feelings, desires, and aims of art and religious faith in order to give meaning to the concept of the absolute. Lotzi positioned himself in opposition to the philosophies of Fichte, Schelling, and Hegel, as well as Kant's criticism, which aimed at objective and absolute knowledge. He believed that reality was larger and wider than philosophy, revealing its essence and worth to those who study its details. Lotzi's philosophical work remains relevant as we navigate the complexities of our daily lives. 
It reminds us to consider the interconnectedness of facts, laws, and standards of value and to seek a comprehensive understanding that encompasses both the mechanical and the teleological aspects of existence. By recognizing the role of values and aspirations, we can find deeper meaning and purpose in our experiences and strive for harmony in our thoughts and actions. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.